Hi, I'm Roger Hurricane Wilson. This brief free lesson will show you how to play a basic slide version of the beautiful classic hymn, Amazing Grace. Now, this is a song that's very inspirational, whether it's sung by the Mormon Tabernacle Choir or just improvised on some lonely back porch somewhere on a single instrument. I've heard cool versions of Amazing Grace done with slide on guitars and dobros by various folks over the years. It's pretty simple, and if you're wanting to get into or to understand slide guitar a little more, this may be a good introduction for you. First, I'll just play the song one time through. Now I'm in the key of E here. The song begins on the third string, and this is an actual example of how the concept of blues slide guitar originated. Back in the day, it wasn't unusual for someone to tie a piece of wire on the side of a barn connected by two nails, and they would tighten the wire by placing some type of solid object under it, and then slide something along it like a metal cylinder, a piece of bone, or the neck of a bottle in order to create the sound, hence the name bottleneck. Now then they would just make music on it, and I'm sure Amazing Grace was one of the songs they played. Let's take a look, closer look at this arrangement. <laughs> Alright, now as we start this off, we're going to start with the 4th fret, 3rd string. You're going to slide to the note, then go to the 6th fret, and then to the ninth fret. So you're getting the first 3 notes. And notice in the slide technique, you're going over the fret, and then you're cutting the note off with the right hand when you don't want it to carry over too far. And you get that little vibrato, and then you go to the second string, and we're going to go to the ninth fret, slide to the seventh, so we're going to go. Second string, ninth fret, seventh fret, second string, back to the root. So these first notes. go to the ninth fret of the second string again, and then the seventh fret of the second string back to the root. So we're going to go. And we're just working our way back. All right, fourth fret, third string, sixth fret, third string, ninth fret, third string, ninth fret, second string, se seventh fret, Second string. So we're going to go. Now we're going to do the same thing again. Now we're going to go to the seventh fret of the second string and slide to the twelfth fret of the second string. So it sounds really cool. Back to the seventh fret of the second string, or ninth fret rather, to the twelfth, back to the root, all the way back down to the beginning. So you're just basically using a certain series of notes on the third string. And then from the second to the third string, back to the third string, and then we go to the seventh fret, and we slide to the twelfth of the second string, from the ninth to the twelfth, slide to the E, ninth fret, third string. As I've mentioned in previous slide lessons, it's very important to practice getting a clean sound by just lightly touching the string. 
The clearest note is obtained by placing the slide over the fret, unlike between the frets as done with the fingers. Now I'll break it down a little further for you. All right, now as we start the song, we're sliding into the note. And once again, you're using your the slide can be played on really whatever finger you want. I play it with um, on the index finger of the left hand. Some folks do it with the middle finger. Some uh, more traditional players use it with the little finger. But however you do it, you want to get in. The, you would slide into the note. So if I'm going to that first note to start the song, I might take a whole step and then go to a whole step again. I'm just getting a real pretty sound by on the first three notes of the song. That wasn't pretty, but this is here. But that's a good example of what happens if you overshoot the note. But notice when you play with your fingers, you're, you're touching the fret in between the frets, but on the slide, you're playing over the fret. And you're dampening it with the other finger. To try to keep it, because if you don't do that, then you get, you get those other tones in there, and you hear those other extra notes. So by dampening it, getting a clean single tone and if you just play with those first three notes you can just work on that and then the second string to get that other melody now you're you're starting with that note and sliding down and in order to chop the note off in other words you, you dampen it with the string Get your first note and then slide down. So you're doing two different techniques here. Have fun with that. In developing your slide technique, just take the time to work out the kinks and get the smoothest sound possible. You'll see that also if you practice for 15 or 20 minutes and then take a short break, it will get a little easier each time you come back. Just enjoy it and have a lot of fun. If you want to go further into slide guitar, be sure to check out my other instruction videos here at FreeGuitarVideos.com. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep on picking. I'm Roger Hurricane Wilson.